been a really interesting spring. Uh, weather delayed most of our crop plantings, and uh, we've been just been able to plant a little bit along, you know, maybe a day or two here, a day or two there. So we're still really behind for the middle of May. Um, we do have the corn in. Uh, rice should get finished up today, and we do have a few soybeans planted this coming week, uh, weather permitting. We'll uh, try to finish planting up, planting beans, and then uh, we'll also have, uh, you know, uh, rice fields to set up to water corn that we'll need to get poly pipe put out on. Uh, we have a bunch of spraying to get done, and uh, certain things like that. But uh, we do what we can, just keep going. You know, with the way things are, you, you might can go start a year with a. A definite plan yes it's going to take me this many days to plant this crop or that many days to plant that uh, but as we know in life you know it throws you some curveballs and you have to be adaptive uh, to make things work fit and what what may have been a top priority to yesterday may not be the same top priority today it's just whatever needs to be done at that time and uh, especially when you can't get around it all you have to pick your spots where you go where you can make the most impact and, and hopefully you can get to the other things uh, as you can. But uh, that's just the way farming is. You have to be adaptive to survive. And, uh, that's, that's kind of the day and age that we're in. You know, 10 years ago, it seemed a lot more simpler farming was. Uh, but nowadays it's a lot more competitive. The margins are thinner. And, you know, you, you have to really be smart and uh, and make the best decisions that you can. You know, farming's really demanding. Uh, you know, it's hard work. It's also stressful, but it's a way of life, and, and the life that I love. I love providing for for uh, our, our fellow Americans something to eat. Um, I like giving my employees a, a place to work where they can grow and achieve and. Uh, you know, it, you gotta love it to be in this industry. Uh -huh.